Former Assemblyman of Baylor, Baylor hopeful Jason O'Donnell, along with four of his running mates, took aim at the Mayor Jimmy Davis administration during a fundraiser last night. About 350 people came out to the Chandelier restaurant to support the O'Donnell team, and the common theme among the candidates was curbing the city's frequency of giving developers long-term tax breaks. A few things have happened over the past three years that have caused me great concern for my son's I mentioned that Ryan's a carpenter. He's in his fourth year as an apprentice in Local 253. He works on buildings in Jersey City. Not Bayonne, Jersey City. He spends the majority of his working days getting up at 5 in the morning to drive out of this town to go to work. Um, we have a lot of buildings going up. I'm not sure if you know that. We're building a lot of buildings, right? <laughs> Very few, if any of those buildings, are required to use bail or union labor as a function of their getting 30 year tax abatements. They don't use bail labor. That's a problem, right? People who live in bail deserve the chance to work here. The tax base is a major issue for everybody. Um, what it comes down to is all these big developers are the ones getting the breaks. They're not giving anything back to the community. Uh, if they would buy a, a build a civic center or a youth center or throw money towards senior centers, that would be a great help to the town because the money that they're saving on these tax abatements is, it's, it's only being filtered to us as taxpayers. So, we own our houses for 20, 30, 40 years. We're here, we're residents here, and we're not getting any tax breaks. These new developers come in, they get all the breaks. We're not the regular citizens that have never left this town. I'm tired of 30 year giveaways to wealthy developers that give us nothing, zero in return. But Bob, Bob, our union brothers and sisters and Bayonne residents of good paying jobs. There is no way Sean the Sun should be going to Jersey City when he could be working here and keeping that money here in Bayonne. Walking to the podium to a standing ovation as U2's With the Streets Have No Name blared over the speakers, O'Donnell cautioned the audience about Davis's team using dirty tactics throughout the campaign before throwing shots at Davis and his campaign manager, Joe DeMarco. As my father would say, actions speak louder than words. Heck yeah. Does someone who loves Bayonne leave for 14 years, buy a house elsewhere, pay taxes, and start a new life in Rollway? Does someone who loves Bayonne allow an out-of-town disgraced business administrator to make decisions that affect our families and our children? Does someone who loves Bayonne allow out-of-town developers to profit over the backs of Bayonne taxpayers? Does someone who loves Bayonne continually deny our children and our educators the proper funding that they so desperately need? And does someone who loves Bayonne Deny, deny local union labor the opportunity to work in the very town which they live. Labor unions who built this town and built this country. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I submit to you tonight that actions do speak louder than words. And the actions of this current administration tell a different story. Melissa Enriquez Rada, the O'Donnell Slate's other council and large candidate, spoke about her long record of community service before imploring everyone to come out and vote on May 8th. This is your team. Please vote the O'Donnell Team 2018 Congress. I'm John Hedis, Dodson County View, the Eye of the Community.